Kaylee Bayon. And Liana Kaitu'u, the transfer from Portland, looking for a backdoor cut for Barcelo. That's cut out and stolen. Turnover by the Wolverines. Back to BYU. That goes off the shoulder of Davenport. She's lucky to get it back. She'll face up on Kaitu'u. Now has Woolston flashing straight away for three. And Kaylee Woolston continues her hot shooting to begin the season. Dustin immediately posting up out of the double team, finds Woolston cutting in left side. Great recognition by Gustin to see the second defender coming over and knowing her teammates on the baseline. The junior from Lehigh, Utah. And a BYU lead down to just three. We'll be back with the cross county rival between Utah Valley. And to create opportunities to score. What a heads up play by Gustin to bat that out after Davenport's pass was not a great one. Well, Davenport is the beneficiary of all that early in this game, stopping the clock at 3.47 to play in the first quarter. Here's another look at that ball movement and Davenport knocking down a three. And you just saw how much a From near the baseline corner left. Bubukar bounces to Woolston. Calvert will step into a three straight away. Emma Calvert. Pretty near perfect on the defensive side of the ball. You're gonna give up stuff to the offense because they always have the advantage. Amari Whiting. Answers back in a much needed bucket for BYU that. The intensity and the want to from Utah Valley on defense, but in the first two possessions here on offense, that, that has extended its way to the other end of the floor. Well, it really shows that Coach Nelson trusts Kaitu'u in there to be smart and not pick up a third foul. She's playing with two fouls, but they need her offensive production right now. As it graces off the front of the rim into Davenport's hands, widening. Nice entry pass once again. BYU transition offense before she could get the pass out. Credit to the defense because they're rotating on the closeout. They're getting there and contesting her and making her bobble her feet or bobble that ball. Whiting. Tough shot inside. I wasn't sure what she was gonna do when she got bumped and got into that awkward position. Really what it comes down to. Watch the body control. And she's going at Kaitu who she draws her third foul. Up by seven at 26-19, Whiting. Spinning, beautiful move by Amari Whiting. Her defense was, as her mom and coach said, translating into immediate offense. Well, she's already got Dick, quite And she scores it at the hoop, and she picks her pocket again. Amari Whiting back-to-back -back steals and buckets. In just three games into the season, getting it done with her defense. She's a hawk for this team, doing her job right at half court where she 104 to play in the half. BYU with an 11 point lead at 32 21. Handoff from Gustin to Woolston. Oh, what about, what about that? Here from Allie Criddle. Criddle off the high screen from Cheney. Right at Calvert. That's swatted out of bounds off one of those lower scoreboards. BYU's done a much better job when Criddle puts the ball on the floor at rotating over and making sure they help. See the shadow. Calvert stays with it. Criddle had six points in the first quarter, but she has not scored. Smiler. We'll skip it to Woolston. Left corner three. Good. Kaylee Woolston, her second three pointer. Starting point guard, averaged 15 and a half points per game. Shot the ball 37% from distance. I mean, BYU is going to be a force from Mabry, again, who continues to be the spark player for Dan Nielsen's team off the bench. Woolston will try and answer for another three. Kaylee Woolston by Talsinga. And the Wolverines now 0 for 12 from beyond the arc. On the other side, BYU's transition offense and cuts the BYU lead back down to 15. And a Calvert, good interior passing. The high low from Gustin to Calvert empty for Utah Valley in that last possession and now BYU with Whiting and Smiler on the perimeter have Woolston open for another three in the right corner. Grabbed by Calvert. Whiting driving in, cut off by Tafisi and she scores a tough shot in the lane. Physical play from BYU's point guard and Amari Whiting has. Cheney will dribble to the right wing. She'll hand off to Kaitu'u. Davenport with the block shot. And we saw Criddle injure that thumb to end the third quarter, and it's taped up, but a good sign she's back in the game. Another high-low, beautiful play and pass from Gustin. And it's the closeouts coming, the rotation coming, hand in the face. 